All right, welcome back in the kitchen again. Just got home, um, fed the dogs, found out I'm out of dog food, so I had to make some dog food. So I got that started over there, uh, looking for something for dinner, and got some lamb chops uh, that I'm doing for dinner. Um, that's not for this episode, though. Uh, I also noticed that when I got home, I had a whole bunch of these nice ripe bananas. So I'm gonna make banana bread. Um, and as always, putting a little something different in it. So tonight I've got Hunter and Scott bourbon whiskey, uh, Reservoir Distilleries. Uh, they're right here in Richmond, Virginia, right downtown. Uh, go check them out. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot left in this bottle. Um, that's because it's really good. So, um, but I'm using three tablespoons of this in the uh, recipe, and we're gonna have to check the rest. Um, also in here, of course, I got my bourbon. I'm using almonds, slivered almonds, uh, dark chocolate, uh, sugar, salt, baking soda. Uh, this is some lemon juice, uh, a couple eggs, two cups of flour, and I've already mushed up some lovely bananas there. So um, I'm gonna get all this mixed up and I'm gonna start cooking. First thing I got to do is get all these dry ingredients mixed. Um, actually, no. First thing I got to do is uh, I got to check the bourbon. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Looks like I'm gonna have to make another trip back to uh, Reservoir Distillery in my near future. All right, so dry ingredients: flour, salt. baking soda, baking powder, and I'll blend that up. Alright, that's that, put that aside. Now in our mixer here, for a stick of butter. sugar to the butter. And turn that on. Alright, that looks good. Now I'm going to add an egg to that. Sides down. All right, now we're going to add bananas that we mushed up earlier. in the comments and lemon juice and our reservoir distillery bourbon Bring that back up let that blend up a little bit all right that looks good now we're going to add our flour mixture in Good. Now we're going to add almonds. Mm 
You can use walnuts too if you want. And a cup of dark chocolate. Bring that back up. Just kind of fold them in. And check the bourbon. Alright, so I've already got a 9 inch pan buttered. We're just going to put all this in. This is going to go in the oven, 350 degrees, probably about 45 minutes, and we'll pull it out and see what it looks like. All right, it's time to get this banana bread out of the oven. It looks like it's done. Yeah, I think it's done. And it looks still a little moist in the middle. But, yeah, I think that's good. So we just gotta let that cool off and then we'll see what it tastes like. But right now I'm gonna check some more bourbon. Make sure it's still okay. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. That was my chocolate and bourbon spiked banana nut bread. Um, and just wanna thank uh, Reservoir Distilleries uh, for making this great bourbon. Uh, if you're in Virginia, go check them out, downtown Richmond. Uh, great, they got some great stuff going on there. Uh, again, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you next time. I'm out of whiskey. I gotta go.